Tanaka, and you're watching Red Wolf TV. Hey guys, Tim here, and welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. Today, we're going to take a look at the Tokyo Marui High Kappa 5.1 Gold Match Edition. Now, if you're going to recreate one of the best airsoft GBB pistols out there, in my opinion, I'm sure a lot of you agree, with one or two exceptions going, no, it's not, you better do a damn good job of it, improving on its aesthetics as well as its performance. Mainly because it is one of my favorite pistols, so no pressure, Tokyo Marui. <laughs> So why did Tokyo Marui go for the gold match? I mean, they already went for something racy the first time around, but ever since then, companies like Zebgru, Salient and Agency Arms have added a golden touch to a lot of the real steel guns. So I guess that inspired Tokyo Marui to design their own version for Airsoft. Now, the design of the boxes are rather different. With the original High Kappa 5.1, it is secured in foam. You can see the high kappa, the magazine, the rod, the rail attachment that sits underneath the frame, and under this high kappa card, you can find the BBs. As for the brand new one, you don't see the foam. It is covered by paper that has a wooden print that makes it look very nice. You do see the high kappa, the magazine, and this nice gold, gold match, and everything, such as the rod and the BBs, are sitting underneath the card. It does look rather pretty. There are quite a few modifications here and there, but the dimensions are very much the same. The style and texture of the grip are the same, the rear sight, the mag release, the engravings on the left and right side of the slide, as well as the grip and the magazine have not changed. They are exactly the same. Though Tokyo Marui will be releasing a 31 round golden magazine at some point in the future, but I don't understand why they haven't released it with the gold match version, but what can we do? One tiny thing you might not have noticed is the engraving on the right side rear of the frame. The old version says Ops MRP, whilst the new version says Ops TAC 45. We're going to continue talking about the frame, as the new version has an elongated frame towards the front, also featuring a Picatinny rail, whereas the old version does have this rail, but you're going to have to attach it yourself. And I do like this little cut at the front, which reveals the underside of the slide. They both have serrations at the rear of the slide, but the gold match now features serrations at the front, so you can rack it like so. There are also cuts and grooves along the top as well as underneath the slide, which does make it lighter and in turn snappier in theory. The front of the original high kappa features a white dot sight, whilst the gold match features a stylish red fiber sight. One thing you should have noticed is that when I pulled the slide back, I didn't break my hand away from the grip to release the slide, mainly because the slide release has been extended, whereas the older version, I had to break away from the grip just to release it, as well as the magazine. You still have to break away, even in both cases, which is rather unfortunate. They've even smoothed out the pattern on the grip safety. Now for the more obvious parts, the gold, as it says in the name. It now features a golden barrel, the recoil spring plug, the hammer, as well as the ambidextrous extended safety and more obviously the trigger. They've also changed the pattern on the trigger itself. I wonder if they've changed much internally. So this is what it looks like when you rip it to shreds. As you can see, the recoil spring plug has changed design and you can see a buffer at the tip here. And the outer barrel looks exactly the same except the newer version has this incision right here, which we'll get into in a sec. Now the hop-up design looks very similar. There are only a few cuts, very minor differences. Here, where it says hop, this is where you adjust the hop-up, by the way, this little portion, and this is more obvious. You can see that this part sticks out in a spring here. This portion fits through that gap, and it's very easy to keep it secure and snug, as you can see. It just springs back into place, unlike the old version, which just flops around. So that's the side-by-side -side comparison when it comes to its physical attributes. They both weigh exactly the same weight, even with the many modifications at 890 grams with the magazines included. So now it's time to test its performance, and that means taking it to a range and chronoing the thing. 
We are now at Milsim CQB and Training Centre at the 20 metre range and we're going to chrono the pistols with 0.2 gram 6mm BBs in green gas. First off to set the benchmark, the original High Kappa. The original version chronoed at just under 330 FPS. What's surprising is that the gold match version chronoed 15 FPS higher than the original version and was way more consistent. Now to see which one is snappier. I already know how this feels because I own one, so I need you guys to have a look at it first before I switch to the gold match. Not so bad, still snappy, like always. Now for the gold match. Ooh. Certainly feels lighter, therefore it is much snappier, which uh, doesn't surprise me considering there's so many cuts on the slide. That's pretty awesome. Considering the gold match is so snappy, I can get the sights to line up immediately after the slide is pushed back forward and the fibre front really helps. So what I'm wondering is how quickly I can pull the trigger and still hit the same target from 20 metres away. There's only one way to find out. Right. So imagine, with a bit of practice, you continuously hitting somebody's forehead from 20 meters away whilst pulling the trigger as quickly as you can. That sounds really painful and fantastic at the same time. The trigger response on this is amazing as you would expect from Tokyo Marui, but there is something that I do need you to listen to. First off, the original version, racking the slide. It doesn't sound as amazing or appealing. It sounds plasticky, which is obvious, but this one has a click in it which does sound really appealing. So how would I conclude the Tokyo Marui High Kappa 5.1 Gold Match? Well, it clocks in higher and more consistently, it's still very accurate, it's snappier, it sounds better, and it's much more functional than the original one. I asked for a lot and I got a lot out of it. But if only it had a metal slide, but don't worry, there are a lot of aftermarket parts just to make the slide metal instead. I just thought of something. Hold on, let me try something out. Uh. Whew. Right. What I'm actually trying to say is that the 5.1 original version is not bad. It is still very good, but the gold match is much better, I have to say. So for these cool products and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfersoft.com and see you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Pawns Dash, out. Do subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with our latest and coolest videos.